Service is not a verb. You can't turn into an action or an occurrence. I mean, think about it. You can paint something, or photograph something, or print something, but you can't ceramic anything. It's first and foremost a material. And as a material, it can be almost anything. It can be a cup, or the skin of a building, it can be the dirt under your feet, or the nose from a rocket ship. Ceramics is one of the most abundant materials on Earth, so its versatility makes perfect sense. And as such, it has no preferred or desired form. It can be large or small, hard as a rock, fluid as water, permanent or transitory. It's one of the most plastic of mediums. It has the ability to respond and record the touch of a finger. My own work is deeply rooted in Western industrial ceramics with densely coated decorative language and its permeability of object and image. I like things with a complicated history. Objects are sort of crazy mashed up viewpoints that are the hallmark of our collective conscious. I like ambiguity and the difficulty of the language. Is, it, is duck an action or an object? Why is pine from the tree an intense fear of belonging? What are you, a chicken? I make shape, and shape for me is the fullness of a form. I have an idea for an object, sometimes real, sometimes half remembered, and I'll make a smoothed down, puffed up version of that thing, as if it became some sort of Macy's Thanksgiving Day party. I have a big tub of clay in my studio, and I call it my primordial ooze. All the shapes I make come out of that bucket, and to there they return. I use this chunky terracotta, working with the solidity of the form, refining the pieces of drawings. The mold I make off the shapes gives me my skin. I have my balloon. The body is suddenly filled with air. Both time and direct collaboration has become increasingly important to the way I work. I love setting up strange projects for myself. It's the re of research that's the most exciting, the looking and then the looking again. So whether it's a cup project that plays out in real time, or a remanufacture of brick, or stories that spill out onto plates, it's a medium of ceramics that gives it form. I came to ceramics through a deep fascination with material and process. I've been working in clay for almost 30 years now, and I feel like I've barely begun to scratch the surface of what's possible. And Seek has been a really important part of my development as an artist and educator over the years, and I'm thrilled to have this opportunity to find.